Good day! I am Christine B. Boarau, a third-year BSL student. My delving literature is specifically in the subject of survey of English and American literature. We have learned and met a lot of famous writers along the discussion. So my classmates has their own literary writer, and the one assigned to me was Ernest Hemingway. So let us know first who is Ernest Hemingway. So Ernest Hemingway was one of the most influential and well-known American writer on the 20th century. So Ernest Hemingway was born on July 21, 1899 in Oak Park, Illinois, a prosperous suburb of Chicago, and died on July 2, 1961 in Kitchum, Idaho. His father is Clarence A. Hemingway, he was a doctor, and his mother, who was very religious, had given up a promising career as a singer in order to rear six children, of whom Ernest was the third and the oldest boy. So Ernest Miller Hemingway was an American novelist, short story writer, and journalist. His economical and understated style, which included his iceberg jury, had a strong influence on 20th century fiction, while his adventurous lifestyle and public image brought him admiration from later generation. His writing career spanned over four decades, during which he produced some of the most celebrated and enduring literature in American history. He awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1954, because of his mastery of the art of narrative, most recently demonstrated in The Old Man and the Sea, and for the influence that he has exerted on contemporary style. He was educated in the public schools in Oak Park, where he participated in a number of activities, such as writing for the school newspaper, playing football and water polo, and performing in the school orchestra. It was during his time at high school that Hemingway's love for writing began to flourish and he developed a strong ability to articulate his thoughts and experiences on paper. But the parts of his boyhood that mattered most were summers spent with his family on Wallen Lake in Upper Michigan. On graduation from high school in 1917, impatient for a less sheltered environment, he did not enter college but went to Kansas City where he was employed as a reporter and as a foreign correspondent for the Toronto Star. He was repeatedly rejected for military service because of a defective eye but he managed to enter World War I as an ambulance driver for the American Red Cross. On July 8, 1980, not yet 19 years old, he was enjoyed on the Astro-Italian front of Posalta di Fabie, decorated for Hiroshim and hospitalized in Milan. He fell in love with a Red Cross nurse, Agnes von Korosky, who declined to marry him, and these were experiences he was never to forget. Move on to the list of Ernest Hemingway literary works. So the novels or the novella that he published are The Torrents of the Spring on 1925, The Sun Also Rises on 1926, A Farewell to Arms on 1929, To Have and Have Not on 1937, For Whom the Bell Tolls 1940, Across the River and Into the Trees on 1950, The Old Man and the Sea on 1952, Adventures of a Young Man on 1962, Islands in the Stream on 1970, The Garden of Eden on 1986. So here are the non-fiction that in the afternoon on 1932, Green Hills of Africa on 1935, The Dangerous Summer on 1960, A Movable Feast on 1963. And the short story collections, Three Stories and the Thin Poems on 1923, In Our Time on 1925, Men Without Women on 1927, The Snows of Kilimanjaro on 1932, Winner Take Nothing on 1933, 
the fifth column and the first 49 stories on 1938, the Essential Hemingway on 1947, The Hemingway Reader on 1953, and The Nick Adams Story on 1972. So those are his literary works. We all know that Ernest Hemingway is a renowned author whose literary work has had a lasting impact on the world of literature. So after recuperating at home, Hemingway renewed his efforts at writing for a while that he worked at odd jobs in Chicago and sold for France as a foreign correspondent for the Toronto Star. And, and there he advised and encouraged by other American writers in Paris such as F. Scott Fitzgerald, Gertrude Stein, Isra Found, and he began to see non-journalistic work appear in print there. So in 1925, his first important book, which is a collection of stories called In Our Time, was published in New York City and it was originally released in Paris in 1924. In 1926, he published The Sun Also Rises, a novel with which he scored his first solid success. A pessimistic but sparkling book, it deals with a group of aimless expatriates in France and Spain, members of the post-war last generation, a praise that Hemingway scorned while making it famous. This work also introduced him to the limelight, which he both craved and resented for the rest of his life. The next is The Torrents of Spring, a novella that attempts in a rather billaboard passion to satirize the work of the American writer Sherwood Anderson, followed in 1926 as did Hemingway's The Sun Also Rises, a novel about expertrate life in Paris and Spain after World War I. So, in both subject and style, the latter book is genuinely radical work of modern art. So, The Sun Also Rises is probably the most admired of all the writer's books. Men Without Women on 1927 comprises stories of boxers and wall fighters, including The Undefeated, The Killers, and The Fifty Grand. Men Without Women also contains Hills like white elephants, a story told almost entirely in dialogue. So in 1929, he published A Farewell to Arms, toned down Hemingway's revolutionary style to yield a more conventional and more moving book than the writer had produced up to that time. So the result was the novel's widespread popular success as well as the worldwide fame for the author himself. So the story collection... Winner Take Nothing followed in 1933, less consistently satisfying than the two collections that preceded it. Winner Take Nothing nevertheless contained more formal experimentation like the verbatim foreign dialogue in Wine of Wyoming. At this point in his career, Hemingway seems to have become distracted by his own celebrity. Eight years would pass between A Farewell to Arms and the writer's next novel, The Slight and Poorly Received to Have in Have Not, 1937, which is really a collection of linked short stories that share a setting, Koba and Key West, rather than a true novel. So in the interim, Hemingway wrote two books of non-fiction, a lost baggy treatise on ball fighting called that in the afternoon of 1932 and the green hills of africa of 1935 which was about big game hunting all the while the hemingway legend was growing and thanks in no small part to the author's own embellishments and sometimes out and out lies about his past finally in 1940 he published for whom the bell tools appeared so the book is a big novel about the Spanish Civil War, which Hemingway had covered as a correspondent and documentary filmmaker. Critics accuse it and him of self-fardy and indeed, the novel style is often unbearably mannered. Still, the best-selling For Whom the Bell Tools stand among the early stories in his first two novels as Hemingway's main storytelling achievements. So during the Second World War, Hemingway occupied himself by reporting from Europe 
1950, he published another book, The Critically Lambasted Across the River and Into the Trees. He recovered somewhat with The Old Man and the Sea on 1952, a novella about a Cuban fisherman's struggle with a great marlin, which might be Hemingway's answer to movie Dick. His most popular work, The Old Man in the Sea, was the last Ernest Hemingway book to be published before the author's suicide in Kitchum, Idaho on July 2, 1961. A movie ball fest, his charming memoir of the year spent with another expert rates in Paris during 1920s and it's appeared three years later. Hemingway's fame and the public's desire for more of his work continues to be so formidable that his executors have brought out a number of books since his death that the writer himself had not considered fit for publication. Islands in the Stream on 1970 reprises to have in have nots Caribbean setting, The Garden of Eden, a 1986 about a main age, a trice, dramatizes the author's fascination with androgyny hinted at in the sun also rises and near the end of a farewell to arms, as well as in the stories like The Sea Change. The complete short stories, the Finca Vigia edition, a 1987 contains some of the author's unpublished short fiction. And 1999's True at First Light either reports on or im- imagines son of here between a Hemingway-like hero and an African girl. For the last time, let us mention his honors in the awards. Ernest Hemingway was rewarded throughout his life for his achievements. Upon the appearance of his first published stories, he received the kudos of his literary peers, giants like James Joyce and Isra Pound. With the publication of A Farewell to Arms, he achieved Best Seller. With the time for whom the bell tools appeared, Hemingway was recognized worldwide by millions who had never read a word of his prose. He had achieved a degree of celebrity that had never been approached by a literary writer and has not been much since. Near the end of his life, the adulation was made explicit as the old man in the sea was awarded the Pulitzer Prize in 1953. Then the following year, Hemingway won the Nobel Prize for Literature for his powerful style-forming mastery of the art of narration. Though his popularity has diminished, somewhat in the past quarter century due to charges of sexism and brutality in his life and work, Ernest Hemingway's influence lives on. Whether consciously or not, any writing teacher who advises his students to show, don't tell, is paying Hemingway tribute. So to conclude, Hemingway's work is still relevant today because it speaks to universal human experiences that transcend time and place. His writing is timeless because it captures the essence of the human condition in a way that is both relatable and profound. Hemingway's stories are not just about the events that take place but about the emotion and motivations that drive them. Hemingway's writing style, he believed a writer should show, not tell, and its spear and adored style marks his prose. Hemingway's writing is also notable for its use of short declarative sentences and its focus on action and dialogue. One of the reasons why Hemingway's writing style is so effective is because it allows the reader to fill in the gaps and use their imagination. So Hemingway doesn't tell the reader what to think or feel, he presents the facts and allows them to conclude. This storytelling approach is engaging and empowering and has helped make Hemingway's work enduringly popular. Hemingway's impact on modern literature is difficult to overstate. His minimalist prose and emphasis on authenticity have been a major influence on writers across genres and generations. Hemingway's writing style is particularly well suited to the modern era, where readers have shorter attention spans and are looking for stories that are both engaging and accessible.
So Ernest Hemingway is a writer whose legacy continues to resonate today. His influence can be seen in everything from literature to film to journalism. His stories continue to captivate readers of all ages and backgrounds. In a constantly changing world, Hemingway's legacy reminds of all the enduring power of a great storytelling. So that's all for my podcast. I hope you learned something. Thank you.